back to the drawing board. Our last attempt against the Great Tempest fared even worse than our first, and we have some data to pour over before we attempt a third attack, so let's do that. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Galactic Paragons in our High Dominion 2 series. So this is the fleet combat result from the uh, atrocity that just occurred. When we look at damage output as far as what we did to them, notice that the plasma cannons were particularly crappy. So plasma cannons, we can look at like how exactly they're how exactly they work with shields or how exactly they deal damage to different, you know, aspects of enemy ships and maybe we can figure out why they were less efficient. But it just seems like the promise of the plasma cannons is just shot. Interestingly enough, gauss cannons did more this battle, which is completely backwards compared to what I saw last time. It seems like the lasers were less efficient. Space torpedoes were consistently good. So one of the things I might do with the next particular attempt that we make against the Great Tempest is I might just build more frigates and have fewer corvettes. As soon as the fleets respawn, I might just change the balance of those because frigates aren't much more expensive than corvettes. But if we build torpedo frigates, then those should be able to do a little bit more damage. Also, apparently having flak is really useful. Uh, that's one thing that I've found out from doing a little bit of not only video watching, but a little bit of Googling, just trying to remind myself what the specific mechanics are for the Great Tempest. Because again, love Stellaris to death. This information, like you have to stare at it for a good while in order to figure out anything resembling an appropriate interpretation. And even then, you still have issues like what we're looking at now, which is, wait a minute, are the lasers less efficient or more efficient? And if they're different than how strong, like, if the lasers are better than these numbers indicate, then is it also possible that the plasma cannon is better than these numbers indicate? You know, it's it's just, ugh. So this is why having the community to kind of crowdsource solutions and i mean the stellaris community not just the channel community uh, is useful but it's also why it's such a dangerous sort of thing when you like lean on one suggestion or another you know someone offers a piece of feedback in any channel not just this channel you know it says hey why don't you try this and if it's a little bit different from like the instincts that you would normally follow you go with it and just there are so many different like confident answers that can be offered up within the community because it's a rich and complicated game and a lot of people like to think they know <laughs> what the answer is to various questions so we have the third star order which is um almost done with these pirates mm -hmm. And we also have the first and second Star Order, which are missing in action. Both admirals were killed, which sucks, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at fleet management and the ship designer and see what we can do. I'm not happy with these. I kind of just want to put lasers back on. Oh, wait, hang on. Just kidding. I don't want to do anything there because that's that's one of my cloaked ships. Yeah, so that's right. I didn't change too much. Yeah, I think I think I replaced these. All right. Yeah, we're we're undoing that. That was an unmitigated disaster. Interesting. What did you have before? I mean, can I do a disruptor? No. Could I do a plasma cannon instead? No, definitely not. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to do lasers. Improved reactor booster there. All right, there we go. That's so strange. Wait a minute. That's why. That's why it was able to have the appropriate amount of power before, because its sensors hadn't upgraded yet. Oh, wait, hang on. 
Yeah, that explains it. All right, I'm just going to save that. Sure would be nice if I had like a higher level reactor at the moment. Okay, so the Karolanus frigate. Yeah, we definitely need that reactor booster in place. I don't have the technology in place right now for crystal plating, but that's something that I might take a look at in the future. But yeah, we might just be building more frigates sooner than later. Because if the torpedoes are what are doing the damage, then, you know, let's go for it. Okay, so I am i wasn't happy with this. Let's go ahead and put the laser back on here. And I'll leave the two small plasma cannons. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll keep a mix. Like, leaning all the way into those didn't seem to work. Yeah, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put... Let's do lasers on the cruiser. I'll leave the disruptor. Oh, we have kinetic batteries now. Heck yeah. And you're set for artillery, right? Good. Can I potentially have... No, I can't. All right, I already tuned that to the best of my ability. There's that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, for the most part, just gonna completely undo those. Maybe leave the two plasma accelerators on in the back. Can I potentially do better than that? If we put in a reactor booster, I can. So we'll do that. So I've got just a very select few of those. And then, I mean, I don't really have high-level flak, so it seems like Guardian Point Defense is going to be better. Yeah, see, it's the shield damage that's popular. So you know what? Let's try it. It's I don't have upgraded flak batteries, but let's replace the flak batteries on these ships and also on my Point Defense destroyers. Let's have mostly flak instead and see if that helps. Okay, and the platforms, I don't think I need to change. I didn't actually do any plasma related things with the platforms. Okay, and then the next order of business is we need to look at these guys. So let's say that we want to have just six of each Corvette, and then I want to step all the way up to... Yeah, I want to do a lot more here, so let's go ahead and say 10 of each destroyer class. Because our command limit has gone up. Yeah, so let's say 20 frigates. Six of each Corvette, 20 frigates which is the same number of destroyers that we have. Six of each cruiser. Okay. And then the second star order. Wait a minute. How did that happen? How did some of my cloak cruisers end up in... Yeah, the on Oboros should not even be in that fleet. So that must be the one that I merged, not realizing that it shouldn't have merged. Yeah, so... Just going to get rid of those. Six, and then again, we're going to go with 20 frigates here. Ten destroyers, six cruisers, and that will equalize those. And then we have the third Star Order, which I might keep this one configured a little bit differently. 
Let's go with the six cruisers. And let's go with the 20 frigates. Actually, yeah. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to give the order to reinforce the third star order right now. Because, I mean, we, we can't do anything else. And who are you? Yeah, so the, the fourth star order, I think this is just one of my patrol fleets. Let's take a look here. Yeah, the fourth and fifth star order are just patrolling. Okay. So it feels eerily similar to what we were doing at the beginning two episodes ago. That's because it is. And by the way, I already said this in the comments, but just to reiterate what I was saying about, you know, taking suggestions and such and, and community feedback, like that shouldn't, no one should feel directly called out by those comments. Like this is a long-standing problem with any complicated game on any content creators platform ever. Like if the content creator starts to struggle with one thing or another, and you're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out what the correct course of action is and someone best of intentions, leaves a suggestion, they're confident that they know something that will help. Um, even if they're like objectively correct, the way that the content creator goes about it might be different from the way that that person might have implemented their own advice. And it could lead to an undesirable outcome relative to what the content creator was gonna do outside of the suggestions. Now, sometimes I will ask for suggestions, but again, I'm not really meaning to commentate too much on this, but like, I just don't want anyone to feel directly called out when I make those comments about like feedback. It's more of just a larger issue with when you have a complicated game like this, it's very easy to be confidently wrong. I've been confidently wrong in these series, but it's, you also get like lots of suggestions in the comment section and they all come through at the same level of like, this is what you should definitely do without question. It's like, mm, <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you positive? All right, hang on. We actually could benefit from some civilian industries here. All right, so we may be able to do, oh, crystal mines, nice. Let's go ahead and get a slave. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Really? Oh, it requires planetary administration. Can't build it yet. All right, well, in this case, we wait. When do the fleets come back? Let's find out. Oh, wait, Tugum actually does have some room. So what can I do here? This would be a good planet to build civilian industry, so let's do that. Need to keep an eye on my food situation as well. All right, when do those come back? Second month, fifth day. So just about four months. Spaceport under attack. All right, so thankfully that's not the Navogi black hole that's under attack. I've been a little bit concerned about that. Okay, let's build a few more platforms. How is this platform, or the Navogi black hole, looking? Pretty strong at this point. I don't know if it can stand up to the Great Tempest, and it probably can't, but... Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and reinforce the fleet. At this point, the most reliable, the thing that I'm most confident in is that the torpedo frigates are something we need to bolster. Merc son of Enim got a negative trait. Fleet command limit minus 10%. That's not good timing. Spaceport under attack. Oh, okay. I think the I think we're getting that notification just because the spaceport is trying to reestablish itself. Okay, so it does look like these fleets are back. Let's go ahead. I'm going to give the order to fully upgrade both of them first. And I guess I can go ahead and select some leaders, can't I? Although I don't want to have Merc, son of Enim. Like, do you even...
Who even are you? So let me get this straight. We have Merc, son of Enim, who is... Where did you come from? I mean, I don't... All right, I like the alloys. I like the experience gain. I'm going to dismiss this leader because, well, hang on. How far below command limit are we right now? Yeah, I could... I could put him in charge of, of like, the second star order. There we go. Yeah, so now it puts it down to 153, so that's fine. Alright, now, the first star order, we do need to hire a new leader. So let's select someone that makes sense. Jag, daughter of Abil. I really like having a young leader with high experience gain because if she survives, let's go ahead and do that. If she survives, she could be a really formidable force by the end of her tenure. All right, so let's finish off these pirates for God's sake. What's this? All right, so we've passed minor administrative sanctions and we have a favor with the Saran Stellar Industries. Attacking enemy vessels. All right, pirates have been dealt with. Not a moment too soon. Now, one thing I can do that I noticed a few episodes ago, this cloaked science ship. Oh my god. Zaplo Technocracy is claiming the frickin' Terminal Egress. <laughs> this has gone from bad to worse. Who, who is the Zaplo Technocracy? Are they even strong? Like, yeah, they are. Their fleet power is pathetic compared to ours, probably because they got in their butts kicked by the Great Tempest. But now we're gonna have to go to war with them. Enemy presence exposed. Now, it looks like they might not actually succeed at that. Yeah, thankfully the the Great Tempest has just ruined that attempt. All right, a unique situation has occurred on Caliclia, or Kalakaila, just as the terraforming efforts are winding down. Our terraforming specialists have discovered that it's possible to tidally lock the planet. Uh, let's not do that this time. All right, so definitely want to go ahead and go for the research projects and then survey the system. So I think that's actually our... If I'm not mistaken... No, that's... That's Merc, Daughter of Jerk. Secured. That's that's our Keeper of the Vaults. <laughs> oh, sorry. Merc, Daughter of Uten. I just enjoy saying Merc, Daughter of Jerk too much. Okay, resources from jobs plus 5%. That probably would come in handy pretty soon. Is there anything else I need sooner? You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. One man's trash. All right, so that's here. And then what we can do is take this construction ship, which cannot cloak, unfortunately. They, they really seem like they're trying to get a ship in here to claim this system. But the terminal league, like the Great Tempest, are just going to keep annihilating them every time they try. So, it's good to know that they're trying, so we can secure. at least keep an eye on it. Alright, what do we have here? Nice. Civilian Repli Complexes, that came at a good time. Okay, so Crystal Infused Plating. Yeah, probably need to go ahead and do that. Add some additional hull points. And it will be done in seconds anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and reinforce this fleet. It's saying it's now at full strength, perfect. And then I also want you to go ahead and repair. Vessels upgraded. They're going to repair at the ADAR station. Okay, so let's get you reinforced. But 
Hang on, how long until... It's F5. I'm so glad to finally have a hotkey for technology again, but I haven't, like, I haven't played Stellaris enough outside of recording for this series that, like, to really build the habit to actually use F5. It had a hotkey back in the Alex, day, Vinicius then it got moved off of the hotkey map. Crimson Legionnaire, uh, Legionnaire's Enclave pays dividends. Nice. So we got some science Technology research for that. Crystal infused plating is done, probably as a result of that directly. So let's see what else we can do. Neutronium armor. Armor is not something we're really leaning on really heavily at the moment, but we do have some ships. Cruiser hull points plus 10%. That could come in handy. Mega cannon, maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And now would be a great time for me to pop into the designer and see what we can do here. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Yeah, th this might actually help with the power situation. I think it actually will. Oh my god. Alright, well, one of the fleets is, is upgrading. You know what? Yeah, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Because they weren't back yet anyway. Because I want to make this change. What are you talking about? Stop. All right, apparently the third fleet was upgrading as well, and I'd completely forgotten about it already. I cannot win. I can't win. A ship of this design is currently being built. Screw you. Screw you. Like, I'm just trying to update my blueprints. Why is that such a chore for you? Kill me. All right, never mind. Can't do any of that. We're just going to have to wait. <laughs> oh, no. I guess we can go ahead and upgrade the ships. Because we're still waiting for some to be built. Vessels upgraded. Hulks vivisected. All right, the Wayford Station Technology fleet secure. is upgrading nicely. All right, we have a code breaking improvements. Artisan output plus ten percent. Ooh, that came at a good time. Yeah, let's go ahead and research that. I'm amazed that no one is detecting my science ship. Literally, no one's detecting it. Vessels upgraded. Okay, so hang on. Maybe now. Are the shipyards still building? No, they're done. Perfect. You go ahead and upgrade those. Well, let's go back to what I was doing. So, frigate. Crystal infused plating. Perfect. Now I can actually do stuff. All right, so yeah, we'll replace one of these as well. Just give these a little bit of extra haul, you know? Oh, that's not going to work quite the same, is it? Why is that? That's interesting. Wouldn't have expected that, but okay. Yeah, now very interestingly here... Uh, hello? I know I definitely just clicked that, so why don't you save my change? Thank you getting salty again. Let's see. Crystal infused plating is done. I 
think I can do a little bit more in the way of shields here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm actually liking this more relative to what I was dealing with not long ago. I wonder what is... Yeah. I had reactor boosters on all of these, and it's like I can clearly benefit from having regenerative hull tissue in almost every case. I wonder what I was thinking. It might have just been a different combination of parts in the past that worked, and now we're in a better position. All right, so now let's once again upgrade my ships. Vessels upgraded. Reinforced fleet. And the next time I attempt this fight, we're going to bring all three at once. Vessels upgraded. I don't know whether or not it's actually going to work. But I'm going to do my best. All right, good. The new frigates are being built at the Wayford station. Also, I, I have a lot of energy still. So that's really positive. I might actually be able to take advantage of that. Hang on. Schlarg. Yeah. Economically, things are getting better. We've had so much chaos this series, it's been difficult to really appreciate the strength of the economy that we built, but it's, it is not nothing. It is not nothing. It is one heck of a powerhouse. I'm going to replace you with a mineral purification plant. That's a mining world. It needs one of those anyway. Okay. All right, so the second star order, I'm going to go ahead and send to the Navogi Black Hole. Same, uh, same with the first star order. And then the third, as soon as it's done with his upgrades, Vessels we'll do the same. Upgraded. We will have to wait for some reinforcements. And I am going to wait until all of them are together. We're still surveying Terminal Egress. Interesting, that fleet actually came back. That's really interesting. They came back from another system, so they're flying around, messing stuff up. <laughs> they keep trying, like, you can see the other player empires coming in, trying to do damage here. Not working out for them, though. Remember, the last time this happened in Heralds of the Dark Nova, we had help from a fallen empire that just pretty much camped the Terminal Egress black hole with us and made everything work, which was hilarious, but it was also kind of cheap. All right, good. Special project complete. Caravaneers old with defects. Nice. So we've gained the armor hardening research option. Notice the strength of the third star order, by the way. The third star order, by the way. That is seriously impressive. It's better than it was. Also, I think I can still buy a good amount more in the way of alloys. Alloys just get so expensive so fast. Still need to rebuild a lot of my ships before we're ready to actually attack. And of course, this episode is going to be over before we do that, but I'm just not going to be quite as cavalier with this next attack. We're going to attack with our fully concentrated force. Okay, so the third star order is almost ready. Wait. Okay, that's Terminal Egress. I got scared for a second. I was like, what do you mean there's enemy ships? <laughs> Why am I hearing this? Okay, one more upgrade. So, I mean, we do have a consensus, by the this way, that upgraded. one of the reasons that, or the reason, that you will sometimes have upgrades that, like, need to be done sequentially. Like, you finish an upgrade, and then the upgrade button pops up again, like, right away. Like, like as if... It just didn't fully upgrade everything. The reason for that is what I predicted a few episodes ago, which is, it, it makes perfect sense. It's like, if you have a reinforcement ship on the way that has not been queued up for upgrade, then it doesn't just join the queue for the upgrade. I think that it should, but I also understand the argument for not doing so. 
for me personally, Star like, system charted. if I'm reinforcing a fleet, then I'm committing to whatever resources need to be spent in order to get that fleet built all the way back up as soon as possible. That's the attitude that I'm taking. All right, well, we are at the 30-minute mark for this episode, and unfortunately, for schedule reasons today, I need to go ahead and stop this one here. Hang on, let me very quickly... I normally would keep going for a little bit longer. I know the last one, we didn't have an episode yesterday on account of a thunderstorm, actually, uh, throwing off my recording schedule. Let's do a slave processing facility on Ferris Mandate. But I have something coming up in about 15 minutes that I have to be available for. So I need to go ahead and back out now. And in the next episode, we're going to gather our forces. I'm going to put the, I'm going to give the order for the third fleet to head, head to the Navogi Black Hole. Uh, do I see you trying to go through? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances will you attempt to go that way. <laughs> they wanted to go through the terminal egress. That, that would not have gone well. So we're not going to do that. But in the next episode, we're going to gather our forces and we're going to head back into the terminal egress with these once again, you know, reconstituted, reconfigured ships and some new admirals and hope that the third time is the charm. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.